Hi everybody, Terry Lynn. I have been wanting to show you my house for the longest time and it's just been one thing after another and I haven't been able to do it. So finally I have a nice day and it seems to be a good day to do that. So I'm going to show you my house and every and the surrounding areas. First I need to apologize for my voice. Um, <clears throat> I do a very, a very delicate larynx. I have um, scar tissue on it and I have a little bit of a Whoa, I was a dog. I have a little bit of a, um, a sore throat, but I sound way worse than I feel, trust me. So I've been in the house for a couple weeks, and I've been able to do some cleaning and straightening and organizing and making it kind of homey in mine. Um, and I've had some of, the, uh, some of the village kids actually help me uh, as well. It has uh, kind of been thus far the place to be. It's on the very edge of the village, and it is probably the nicest house here. I haven't been in all the homes, but I do um, have an idea of what they're like. And so I know that uh, this is, is probably um, a big draw for the kids. So um, we've been making some friends there. So I'm gonna show you um, the view first. So I'm going to switch the view right now. So this is, the, this is the opposite view of where I was just standing. We have mountains way in the back there, and actually, uh, I don't know if you can see the snow-capped ones, but this is basically my view. This is part of my driveway um, here. Of course, I don't have a car, so I don't get to really use it as a driveway. I have, um, there's a house right here that was actually, it was a church, and it's all boarded up, so I really don't have um, many neighbors. Um, the outside of the homes are not really taken care of around here. Um, mine is actually um, one of the better ones and I have done some cleaning up. Um, but I do have a wood shed that's right there. And I do have some wood that was left for me, so that's nice. And this is the road to the airport. So I'm literally the last house on the main road and you would, um, you would just go down this road uh, right there. This is probably airport road I would guess. Um, maybe half a mile to the airport. And if you go this way, that's the road to the village. Uh, and you know, the other end would be to the school. So this is the view of the house. <clears throat> it's just a simple house. There's nothing fancy really about it, um, but it's just, uh, it's just nice. It's got um, some very basic things that I'm used to. So um, I do have internet. It's uh, extremely limited and it's pretty slow. So all I can do is text and email, which is fine with me. <laughs> right, at least I can do that. So there's another view there. So here's the door. Every home here is built with a, a foyer. So you can take off your shoes and your coats and everything because that's kind of big in Alaska. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to close the door. So um, you can't see much in here because I'm um, so close. But I do have a little pile of wood there, my shoes. Uh, this is the uh, router and, um, I don't know, other equipment uh, for the uh, church that owns the house. Uh, they run uh, actually a radio station from this house. So I have my little closet there. Here is the actual door. I'll go in. I'll turn on the lights. Oh, I guess I don't need lights. So we've got some vinyl flooring and some full wood flooring. I really don't know what kind it is. But my kitchen here, I have a full kitchen. Super nice, super nice to have a full kitchen. I am growing some sprouts. These are sunflower sprouts. I also have radish sprouts that are, are done and they're in the refrigerator. I'm borrowing the arrow garden from our science teacher. He had like five of them. So here's a panoramic view of everything. Uh, some of the, some things are just crudely done, like this shelving unit it was all left here. Microwave, it belongs to the school. I bar I'm borrowing that, mostly just for um, heating up some uh, rice packs when it gets cold, so I can, you know, have a little warmth on my neck or something. So here's a, a view of the kitchen from over here. And we have that, and so here's the, the view out the window. <clears throat> Literally nothing here. There is a little swing set down there that the kids sometimes, I can see them uh, on. And so here is the living room. I do have a wood stove. 
I shouldn't say it's a wood stove. It's a, I don't know, wood burning stove? Is that what the actual name is? I used to have a wood stove in Connecticut, an actual wood stove. I actually made those curtains. <laughs> they came without curtains. And I just grabbed some material from the school and crudely did some uh, sewing. And that's what I, and I love them actually, and I love red. So uh, this actually is the same kind of decor I have at home, red, black, and a little bit of tan and, and brown, so works well for me. So it's nice to have a little a reclining chair and everything, just, just the little things right now. It's a two bedroom, so in this, this room here is um, <clears throat> a laundry room, very small. The uh, furnace and stuff is in there. This is a spare bedroom. I've already had three different guests in two weeks that have stayed one, two, two nights. Uh, this one has, you know, the least amount of, you know, nicer things in there. There's a view from the, uh, from here and from the front. So we're still working on this room right now. It's just a mattress. We're going to be getting a frame and hopefully putting up those doors. So, um, but people are very happy to even just have a bed when they come and they visit and they have a shower and a kitchen. And so this is, they are ecstatic when, when they see what, what is here. So this is my room. <clears throat> And this is the radio equipment uh, for the church that's going to be taken out at some point. So I have a you know a nice size bed with it's very comfortable, very nice mattress on the bed. Uh, I moved these curtains from the kitchen; they seem to work out pretty well in here. So just a very simple room, nothing special. Way better than the other one I had. Double closet, and the bathroom very small, very simple. <clears throat> nothing special at all but just very nice for this area very very nice so that's it that's my uh that's my crib <laughs> so thanks for taking a look at my house and now you know where I'm staying for the next three months I'm gonna be um, my goal is to finish a book that I have started I'm approximately at least at least a third of the way done maybe half and this is a nice quiet little place that I'm able to um, hopefully do some really good writing I'm gonna have the time uh, the internet connection is a problem I spent Friday for about two or three hours uh, writing and I lost what I wrote because um, the internet the internet connection so that's a little bit disturbing I'm still getting over that. <laughs> I haven't been able to pick up my computer since then. So hopefully once I deal with the stress of that, I um, will get back to writing. And my goal is to have the book published um, in a, within a year. And I will give you more details on the book uh, as time goes on. So in other news, I am going to culture camp this week. Today is Monday and the eighth grade class is being taken by the district cultural coordinator on Wednesday and they're going to be coming back Friday so yes two overnights and at night it's about in the 30s I don't know what to expect I know that there's tents um, I've heard that it's actually a pretty nice tent uh, at least for the adults so I don't know what to bring I you know I have a few ideas I have a little pile going there maybe you saw the pile by the kitchen um, it's over there on the, uh, the shelf there. Um, gotta bring your own food and water. So I am working out something. I'm bringing some jerky and bringing some, uh, you know, little bags of little crunchy chips and I'm mixing up some, uh, drinks. I figure if I gotta bring my own liquid, I'm going to combine the two and I'm going to make also some not really smoothies, but the shakes, I guess you'd call it. Um, I have <clears throat> some protein powders and just some um, little mixes that will be able to sustain me for until dinner, probably. So it'll be really easy. I'll just bring in um, some containers of those. As long as I have to bring my own, my own fluid, I might as well do that. And uh, I should be okay. And maybe we'll do some hunting and fishing. I really don't know what's for dinner and what we're doing. So uh, hopefully I get a list tomorrow, and that'll be more uh, that'll be clarified for me. And I'm borrowing a sleeping bag, a really good sleeping bag, and I'm actually borrowing a pair of 
big rain boots that are way too big for me, but by the time I got uh, two pairs of socks or three pairs of socks on, uh, they were fine. <laughs> so, but I've got to have those because it's really swampy out here right now. So I will be making a video. There will be no electricity from what I understand out there. So I will record everything I can until all my batteries die. <laughs> And hopefully I can get some good footage for you and I'm really excited about bringing that to you so this is my first excursion my first real excursion and I am ready to get my feet wet so until next time this is Terry Lynn with Live True